a lot of young students, they don't have the proper resources to um, <coughs> be able to read on a regular basis. And so it's our responsibility as key club members to serve them and to provide them with these resources. Love them. Okay, so you can flip over the smaller pieces of paper and just kind of read through that. And I'm going to ask some people to share. Sherry Ho from Kaiser, <laughs> what does your quote say? Or what does your paper say? Um, it says every little thing. What? Every little thing you do can make a difference. Every little thing you do can make a difference. Okay. Farrington <laughs> J. Joy. 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 I learned that service can show me the person I really am. And I learned that service is important to encourage. Okay. So all of these pieces of paper are actually for those Flip over your um your pages, and these are what we put into the book. Community programs to provide to like the youth and 
into other organizations like Kupa. And so this Lani Blue Book program, it gives, like, it gives nonprofit organizations the opportunity to put together books. And then they donate it to like the organization that put it together. And like that organization can like, you know, pass it out and spread the word about it. And so what what we all want or what the LC Kelly wants to do is for each club to create a book that has like its own unique meaning, its own unique purpose, theme, etc. And so this book that we put together as a division was like an ABC book, you know, ABC book. Yeah, a book like alphabet of service. And so what each of you now can start doing is like thinking of different ideas about what book you can do. Everyone kind of get the gist. Yeah. Yeah. Gina, why do you think it's important for us to make books, or for us to like create books? Maybe it'll inspire kids to want to create books. It's also like you know, in Kiko we learn all these different values and leadership skills and just like skills that will help us to be successful in life and don't you all think it's like important for us to share the message with the young the youth at a young age so that they can like you know be inspired to do well in school and to maybe join clubs like e clubs and just have successful lives. Yeah, maybe not, it's okay. <laughs> And so this is just, I'm just like showing you what Lani Blue Books is all about. They give free, 20 free printed books when you like submit the one that you created. And so here, I'm just going to show you a sample book, another sample book that was created in Kilo, and it's called Our Lettuce Garden. And this is actually put together by a kindergarten class, which means that your club can definitely do it. <laughs> so it's called Our Lettuce Garden.
starting from Joshua. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Share what you've learned. Like anything. Okay, maybe not something like trivial, like, you know, making 50 hours makes you excellent. But,
block.
Okay, everyone's kind of, so we're all going to share now, like, our ideas, and if you can explain, like, you know, go, don't be like, um, my book is going to be about responsibility, just cut, you know, I, okay, we're going to go in, like, alphabetical order, like, oh, okay.
children at a young age, although, you know, they like have fun and that's important, it, uh, it's also important for them to realize how important family is. Um, because they'll experience you know, that I'm sure maybe some of you have, like friends coming over, you know, family is a family for That they have to, you know, they should know how important family is, not only to you, but you know. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there King K in here? King K on the gift? Oh. Are you in Nara? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Cycling helps the planet <laughs> survive, and you know, without recycling, we're practically just taking our earth and throwing it in the trash. And we don't want that. We want to recycle that earth. So put it in the <laughs> recycling bin. <laughs> 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 Is this someone from Maui? Okay, Melani. She's with us. Oh. The, the power of Hey guys, my name is Denisha. I'm from Kosi High School. And um, what I did was I made up a title instead because, I don't know, I just think that way. So the title for a possible book may be I'm Different, and it's about acceptance for, you know, just not only um, LGBT, but also, you know, gender and gender.
And so this is a message I want to share, and this is how we're going to do it. And so I think that um, uh, uh, if you go back and look at why did uh, Meadowbold even decide they wanted to do this project? I mean, because what is Meadowbold? Is Meadowbold a book company? No. I has, do, you, do you think Meadowbold has things to do with reading? No. Oh, but they did. You know, on the sides of their carton, at one time, if you wanted to learn things about safety, about things like that, they would write uh, things on the side of the uh, carton. And every season, or every time they changed, you know, had a different story. And so they liked telling stories. They realized how important. And I guess if you're eating a cereal in the morning, you look at the carton and you eat, right? Or you're eating the cereal. Or just like when you eat your cereal, and the cereal box got all worse, and sometimes there's a toy in it, or whatever, right? So that's kind of where the thing is. So Medical very much is um, a company that, that we see um, aware about the importance of reading. So they started on their writing little things. First, their message was always for self. But then they realized who needs the milk carton? Who drinks the milk, right? So then they started to change their message on the milk carton. And now they actually decided we should write this. Right? So what they do is they encourage and support. Now I don't know if um, uh, <clears throat> you've ever seen a medical um, written book before. But I noticed that the people who do this are a lot of university students. For some reason, university students find the passion. You know, and especially if they're going into education, they want to write, write a book. Well, we're hoping that you folks also want to develop that passion and write a book. And it's, it's not easy to always write a book by yourself. If you write it with pen, because maybe you have the words, but you don't have the picture, right? Or maybe you like to draw the picture, but you don't know how to say what you want to say, right? So together you can be a team. What we did was we gave everybody a letter, so there were teams of people. And actually the reason it took so long is because we had to, uh, when, when we wanted to do it the first time, I don't know if this is your original picture or not, but what happened was we had to recopy some of them or outline it again because it wasn't taken. So we had, to, because I guess when we did it at convention, we gave everybody what? 45 minutes. So we didn't give them much time. Here, do this page, turn it in, you know? And then we didn't realize that it, the quality had to be cut. But now that you folks know that, you're going to take your time to do everything, right? And you don't necessarily have to write it like we did. We wrote it because we were at, sitting under the tree at the hotel, right? But you could do it on a computer with one of those fancy fonts or whatever, right? See? So you can choose how you do it. But you have to make sure that it's le legible. And so some of these we have to go through and we have to rewrite the words because maybe the words were, there was something that was saying So we have to go back and fix some. There were some pictures that we, like maybe, I don't know, outlined or outlined, um, you know, like around, you know, carefully, you know what I mean? So these are the kinds of little details to make sure you take your page is good. Now, if you want, you can go online and look and um, the students from a kindergarten class at Whitehead Elementary wrote a book about their next start, and that's the one that's featured on the website. And if you look at it, what the teacher did, she was very smart. She took pictures, right? So there are pictures and there's coloring and all kind of big stuff together. Right? So you can do most anything. There are very few rules, okay? Very few rules. But you have, there's a minimum number of pages. Was it 20 pages? There's a minimum number of pages because they don't want to publish a book that's only like 16, 10 pages. Gotta be Okay. So, so we're hoping that the challenge is that people will all want to write a book. Maybe, does anybody here do the action that's committed? Oh, they're, they're, like, they're thinking of ideas and then trying to write. Oh, people are all going to want to know. So all your clubs, 
part two? Right, some of them are like going to try and work together.